Yes, yeah, so, so I think it's a really important question because genetic disease is now being increasingly recognised as an important problem in different specialties, including cardiovascular medicine. And in some ways, cardiology has been ahead of the game because we have a number of diseases where genetic testing has almost been routine. A good example for ex is long QT syndrome, where knowing the gene not only makes the diagnosis, but it helps you stratify the patient in terms of their risk and their therapy. I think what's really changed now is that, that we now have a technology available, next generation sequencing, which allows us to do genetic testing at high volume on low cost. So we're starting to see the establishment of genetic services in cardiovascular medicine with specialist clinics, multidisciplinary teams, and already we're starting to see the application of genetic testing in everyday practice. So there's a, there's a huge amount of research going on in genetics now. Um, I, we have not only just identifying genetic variants, but we're now starting to understand why it is these variants express themselves in different ways between different individuals and within the same family. Um, I think we're going to see the application of this research in the next five to ten years, and then we'll start to develop therapies. And already, in, for example, in my field, which is genetic heart muscle disease, we're starting to see trials which are actually using genetic information to stratify patients for therapy.